man, that is a lot of space. A lot of space. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rob Diamond. What we have here today is, is this huge, what is it called? <laughs> Hi, I'm Rob Dom, and this is the Husky Professional Duty 127 inch wide tool set. Well, I certainly wasn't expecting this much of package to show up today. We're gonna need a lot more room. I got five of these packages. I just have to keep backing up to get all of this oh, into frame. They're not small objects. It even makes the air compressor look small. I have the camera on full wide mode as possible. And the fifth box, of course, is going to be the biggest one. <laughs> this is insane. I did not realize it was going to be this big. Yeah. This is certainly the very first thing to be thankful for. This is Black Friday, and we didn't even have to go out and go shopping. <laughs> it woke me up. Nobody called or anything like that. That's kind of the best surprises. Long story short, Home Depot Husky reached out to me and said, hey, do you want a toolbox? I'm like, you know, I've got some toolboxes. I've got bits and pieces of things everywhere in here. They're like, no a toolbox and like like the end all be all. I'm looking at it and I'm overwhelmed. It's a lot of box and I am very impressed. And even when Isaiah came in, I waited for him to look in the garage without me. And it, oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> so you, you know it's, it's got both of us very concerned on how the hell we're gonna get this thing built. First of all, the part right behind me, this one back there, that is the main box. But then there's this thing right here, which is the hutch. And then there's one of these three is also the top drawer. So this whole thing, not only is a center section of 72 inches wide, plus something on top of that 72 inches wide, plus something on top of that 72 inches wide, but then it's got two side hangers on both sides. Now, what I am banking on is I know that this thing has massive wheels with some shock absorbers. We're gonna build it right here and hopefully we can roll it to its final destination. But this cleans up so much in the shop. We have so much that can be stored in this thing because it looks really good. I think we gotta start with the center of it all. I'm gonna have to go across the shot to even get the shot. Man, I, I'm all the way back here with the camera zoomed all the way out. <laughs> We're back up again. Uh oh. Ooh, oh, that's, th that's nice. already. Stacking this to the top. Yeah. Oh, okay. Very important detail. This is the professional duty. There are a couple different series of Husky like storage units and, and boxes and things. This is a very high level set. This being a professional duty means that there's other types of duties. <laughs> <laughs> That is a massive drawer. Look at the little lining inside, nice. That smells mm. like Home Depot. Oh, I, I do, I smell the Home Depot smell. <laughs> you need to get more tools, there's, there's so much to put in here. Yeah. yeah. So, what I've seen you can do with these, is basically, they have soft clothes. Nice, nice. So we'll do this one too. That's clean. Those are some drawers too. You know what's sick? Tons of power, just even USB power. Oh wow. Definitely gonna be a place to you know put all of our like uh, battery chargers and stuff yeah. like that. I think we have to unbox the next part to it. This is where this thing's really gonna look pretty though, because it's got like the whole like workspace. And I kind of hope that I'm gonna store all of my wiring stuff here and be able to work on it without losing all my connectors like I keep doing. Because that corner over there isn't really doing it anymore. This thing just simply has to fit on top of the first thing. <laughs> what the? So this. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, and then yeah, the stainless space is on top of it. Okay. Yeah, and then there's more power outlets. More power outlets. Yes. Jeez, or to hang stuff if you wanted to. Oh yeah, I like that. Wow, and a light. Yeah, some, oh look at some sort of racking or rails. No, that's, that's for the light, no? I don't know. Mm -hmm. LED light. <laughs> Definitely screws that go into that thing. A lot of reading. 
There are screw holes on top of that. Because yeah. this guy sits on top of that. Because so apparently it's got some insane massive wheels. That is smooth. Damn. You guys need to see how smooth this is. Look at that. Even though shit that's on the floor. Smooth. 800 pounds and it's still that smooth. This gets kind of fun. They include a drill bit with it that you actually drill through this smooth surface if you're going to add the middle piece, the hutch, to the top of this. And then they make this little template right here that makes that really easy. So we'll drill here. Flip it over, do it here, and then we have one, two, three, four, you know, and so on. So there's eight bolts sitting on here, waiting to go. The nuts are hidden underneath this, and it's got it's kind of cool. It's got a little stop thing to prevent you from going too deep. It's probably an inch at best. But you drill this corner, and then we flip it over to the back side. And you drill that same corner. Yeah, that was actually pretty on point. Wow, yeah. okay, cool. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on this side. I do like that stop to prevent it from hitting the bolt head. It was way down there though, so that's cool. Yeah. The holes actually line up perfectly with the wood outside of them, but watch out, you might have to adjust them a little bit because the little nut cert thing that's past the wood in there is slightly off-centered. So maybe you drill a really small hole with your own drill bit and then find where it is and try and move from there. Anyway, we got all the holes cleaned up. We're just deburring them. I took all the plastic out the outside edge because that's where it's gonna sit. And I hate when you see plastic wedge between the two layers, but we left it on this section because as we're picking it up, we might have to adjust it or whatever. I don't wanna scuff the prettiest part of this thing. Really cool thing. The, this main one comes with two handles and you won't be using them in this setup, but when you get the hutch, you use the two handles on the side of the hutch there's holes for it to be able to lift it safely. So these handles serve an actual purpose in between. It's a non-useful purpose now that we have a hole set up with the side lockers and all that. But these are pretty beastly handles. We'll get them onto the hutch and then we'll pick that up and set that on top of this. There'd be no other reason. They, they built this just for really the installation. I would have no idea how to pick this thing up safely otherwise. Yeah, there's a lot of gadgets that I'm actually impressed by and I, you really do want to read the manual for it. It's got like motion sensing light in this thing. The LED light can be motion sensed, turn on and off, it can be dimmed. There's just a lot of controls, cable management. Very impressive set of the main cabinet. It's definitely meant to be able to be ran by itself. Got the handles on here, but that's facing this way and this is facing this way. I love this already, is that the caster wheels are just beefy, just beefy. Look at that. That's just one of them on. And of course, being a car guy, if you see shock absorbers on anything, <laughs> I can actually feel that shock. <laughs> I love it. So we're gonna see how easy it is to turn this 800 pound thing, I was gonna say horsepower, 800 pound monster. Look at that. Even on all the crap on this floor, it's still smooth as hell. I'm hoping we are gonna build this whole thing here take it out and then slide it over to its final place. But now that we have these both in the same linear path, we're gonna take that handle, right, three of us, both handles, and then set it on top of here. And I left this area obviously so that we, if we scuff it, we're, we're safe. I was gonna have it side to side like that. I was like, uh, so, why not side to side like this? It's just a monster. It's taller than both of us, and we have a thing that goes above that for storage. This is nice and clean. Get in the hole! Yeah, at first I was a little disappointed. I was like, oh, that's a weird pattern, but it's not a weird pattern at all. There's a whole backing. It's a protective layer, and so this whole thing goes to beautiful. Oh, Look at that. That's nice. I was wondering about that, too. I was like, okay, I, guess, I mean, I guess white is okay. It's cool. But yeah, so... This whole thing's just gonna shine Stainless. up real quick, yeah. So LED stuff's gonna sit up inside of here. 
you see how nice all these bolts just kind of hide away in their own little compartments. And again, all that's just coated in plastic. This ends up flipping upside down like this, and then there's actual shelving. Yeah, you can adjust the height of this, which we want it kind of out of the way, all the way as far back. These are pretty nifty. I didn't realize that these were what they are. Simple enough. Boop, boop. And that's gonna hold. And so then same thing on this side. You know, we'll, we'll put them all up like this once we get the light up there, and then the light sits up on that spot. So this is the tray where the light is gonna sit. And I was like, wow, how's this bag able to slip up and down on this? And then I pulled it, and it's magnetic. Stainless isn't magnetic, but this part is. And then you just plug it in. That's all it is. Just plug it in at this very end here. There. Wow, that's so sick. Yeah, this is so useful. So I'm gonna flip it around because I want the power side on the right side at the moment. That turns on and plug this into this. Ooh, that's pretty. Now it gets crazier because this actually gets in the way of that. This is a motion sensor and a dimmer. We can go like this. Look at that. And it'll stay on for two minutes after it sees movement. Apparently, oh, there it is. What? Oh, look, it's touch. That's bright. Look at this. Well, we're working on like wiring and, and small stuff, maybe even engine parts. Oh, you can even tighten it and angle it that way if you wanted to. You guys haven't seen this yet. Dude. It's gone. <clears throat> well, congratulations, oh. sir. You're a man now? I, I am a man. This is like insane. Oh, this is amazing. It's taller than me. It looks beautiful. We haven't even removed that back stuff yet, but wait, there's more. This is a top locker, and this is probably one of my favorite things because it, it's space management to the fullest. And there are things in, in our shop that we need to have, but we don't always need to have readily accessible. I'm actually blown away that this thing gets a little bit taller. That's basically how it's gonna sit on top of that. Crap, that's amazing. It's actually two units side by side. Where do we put the other one? Both of them sit on top oh, of it. They sit geez. next to each other. So maybe that's gonna be easier for us to manage two of them. Wow. So open it. That's huge. Yeah. And yeah, we could even fit plates in there. You fit. You could sleep in it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> because these top lockers span the entire width of this thing, it includes both of the side lockers. We have to unbox the side lockers first before we can put these up there. They looked a little wider than I was thinking, and that's why. It's a huge rectangle of storage. So I was concerned. It's like professional duty, uh-huh. This is far beyond. Way more than the professionals we are. Yeah. So these should be side ones, and they require there's Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, it's got its own power. And, oh, I guess they're omnidirectional. This could go on either side. These drawers. Oh, these actually come out. Yeah. Look at these. They're tray drawers. Wow. The power strip is out here, so we could have it sitting on the outside edge of this. So the whole thing's powered on the side if you wanted to get to it. God, you could keep expanding on this thing. There's so much power. Yeah, that is very appreciated, especially since we have a power line ran right to that area. So we basically are gonna take it and bolt it to this wall right here. And yeah, because the, the thing sweeps open, it will open the door away from the center area. Look at this, it's got all the pads. This is pretty premium stuff, so. Look at that, that is pretty trick. So we're going to store car cleaning supplies, you know, and detailing stuff now that we're on a different level. Oh, these do it too. Oh, I love that. We're going to have to put the two wheels on. Yeah, that's one. The 
last box to unbox is the other side. They're all set up the exact same way from the factory. We will turn this door. This is magnetic. And so we'll 180 the door. We also have to swap the power to the other side too. So we have power on the wide side. And we've got even more mats. And I just realized this, it has hanger wall on the outside of both of these. All the ways of storage, I didn't know were possible. No. So what we're gonna do is we want it to open this way, so it rotate it this way. Oh. You know? Okay, and we're gonna flip this thing. This just keeps getting cleaner and cleaner. While he's working on that, this actually ends up going onto the back right here or over here, depending on which side you wanted to have the light come in from. We're gonna go into this side. And so this little transformer go in like that. These are for cable management, and then these are for transformer management. All meant to work together. Like this. You've even got little, little lips on this to hold it in place right there. So that is very thought out. I will never be this thorough. What's all the power cables and everything all behind this thing are really organized, but there is a lot of power here. In this shop, we have way too little of. A little less snug shot right there, right there. And there you are, it's a little room to breathe. And then right here, yet again, where I would have just said good enough, and it becomes a little wider management. Oh, to wind around? Wind around them, That's yeah. Sick. Okay, so once we figure out the exact length of that, these wires then stay nice and neat out of the way. Same thing with this one, more so, is that exactly what we've got going on right there. This will go all the way around it, and we can clean that up quite nicely. Doing the handlebar one last time, because this will be our way of somehow miraculously getting this above that whole thing. I'm probably gonna put some blue tape on that corner and we'll brace all the, the brakes and we'll get it up and then slide it over as safe as possible. That's my best strategy right now. We're just gonna cover this corner. That way if, if we get loose or whatever, we're just up and over and it's holding up there. We have the handle here, so we'll stabilize it and then just push it up and then make sure everybody's safe. I mean, you know, this is, I don't wanna, I don't wanna die. Just building a cabinet. It's a pretty gratifying part, to be honest. While waiting on the other pieces, I'm gonna start pulling this back. Nice, just lined right up. <laughs> no work involved. Getting the back ones do a little bit. Oh, it's not that hard. Whoa, bro, this is too tall. Yeah, you know, I was just thinking though, you could store stuff on top of it. Not just in it, but you can store stuff above it too. That's where I put my cereal. <laughs> Go ahead, just try and capture all of this all at once in one shot. You, you can't, I, I kept hitting into cars too. This is the entire unit, it's not finished. Let's see. I don't even have the handles on this part, but look at that. Like this is easily 1,500 pounds, guaranteed. Maybe 2,000 pounds at the time. Look at how smooth. Got a band of white on the other side. This is what you won. Look at this. Obviously this could have been more dramatic. That's insane. I'm gonna go ahead and push it into the corner. We believe it's gonna go and then deal with what it's going to do to that part of the shop. But, wow. My boy growing up, look at him. Came here, he barely had his little hand tools, just the garage. He didn't know how to turn. What a big change. All this room, so this side, all of this storage space, and then all of that means that we can pull all these out. Power on both sides. It just keeps, it, come to find out these drawers can handle 440 pounds on them. Those are for batteries for your that's cool. tools. How epic.
epic is this? It's just revolutionized the whole shop. It's been a month or so since we filmed the last part and I can truly speak from experience, this is ridiculous. I have all the light I want. I mean, you can see how much brighter things get. The camera's gonna overexpose, it's that much brightness. The whole lighting system is amazing. Multiple levels, I use this at night while I'm walking by the thing, I'll wave, the guys will see me do it. I was like, like this, to, I'll wave to it. Like, it's like my friend, like, hey, and then it lights up. It's, oh my God, I'm happy to see you. A wonderful benefit nobody told me about. But I will tell you this, you can buy these type of hooks for this. We had the computers all sitting up there with all the wiring harness. It's super easy, super clean. You see, I got the steering wheel up there now. One of my favorite things, absolute favorite things that I get to feel like a dad. I'm gonna put Joel's cookies up in here. No. You know I'm short. <laughs> I meant so you were locked out, not, but yeah, so he, he doesn't get them. It's even cool because there's five different letters, and so you can lock different sections with different keys, which I think, honestly, if you're a parent, that's actually a really useful thing. In my case, it's preventing some of the guys in here from stealing my tools, but I mean, look at these drawers. You're like, oh, yeah, that's cool. No, it's still got way more to go. I keep forgetting I have stuff in the very back. The soft clothes, everything about this thing is it's just ridiculous. Like, I can even hide my history. I can hide the wow. embarrassing side of things. It's been a month of using this. I could almost do a whole video on just reviewing it. I've done a lot of wiring. All the other videos that you've seen between from now until then just show how impressive this thing is. It's even funny because I can actually feel the suspension on it when I go to pull the whole thing out, which is a very heavy piece of equipment. But when you pull it, you can actually feel the whole thing have the little shock working. I can't speak highly enough about what Husky and Home Depot have done for this whole thing. This is kind of a cool organic piece and check out this whole professional series. It's what 127 wide. It's, it's all on their website. This has just been a wonderful relationship. And I mean, it's unfair. I get, I get this and my job is to share this with you. This is cheating.